Oh, yo, Minecrafters, this is Wood. As promised, I have compacted my vertical piston door, which uses any block. This is the first version I showed you. Um, since then, I've worked on a bit of model, and I've came up with two. Um, the smallest way I can do this is 12 by 10 by 8 total, so it's 8 in height. And that's what it looks like. Basically, uh, this model here is the same of the one I did here on the last video, except all the extra wiring uh, is like like cut off. So I have only the strict minimum. I have the same uh, start sequence here and uh, another for the close sequence. Uh, basically what I did, I just put them one above the other. So I have my open sequence here and my closed sequence here. So basically um, what you need to do here is first I have two monostable circuit. One is inverted. So when you flick the switch only one will trigger. So either the on sequence or the off sequence. And you want send a wire to the the line of the piston you want to trigger first then the next and so on and I have it connected here to a vertical line which are connected to each of the piston or in my case here series of piston this line controls two piston and uh, above here there's the close sequence which is basically exactly the same thing and it's connected to this vertical line just two blocks above and that's it uh, this one the timing aren't perfect it's quite fast still but um, I've put the repeaters there and put most of them at maximum delay and it happened to work so I was happy and it's still a kind of compact design I guess still not not as compact as the sand door but then again it's a little more high-tech and the other uh, model I have here uh, this is what I was talking before that I wanted that I wanted to try and it's quite a simpler method and it's really more expendable so uh, what I have here is my, I have my four lines here connected to each of my pistons or a series of pistons and they're all just straight all the way connected to nothing and on the top here I have a monostable circuit sending a pulse uh, it's not hooked to an inverted switch I just have two monostable circuits with buttons this, this was just a prototype and what I have here is I have the first line of the sequence so on the first sequence I have this piston I want to activate so I put a torch here and this line will activate first then I have a repeater and activate the second line and this one activates this piston then a repeater set to full delay uh, and then it activates these pistons and so on and underneath I have the closed sequence and basically it's the same thing but inverted so instead of sending a signal on the on the line below it's sending a signal on the line above so I have a torch like that where I need the the piston to be activated so I have all my closed sequence uh, with repeaters between and basically what this means is with this type of design you could have a really complex sequence with a lot of pistons let's say five or six pistons so you have your five or six line coming out uh, here and parallel to these one and if your sequence take like uh, seven steps well then you just have seven line here with the torch on the piston you want on each line with the repeater between so with that done um, I tried to compact the thing because like this it's kind of big and uh, there's 
this is useless like this piece here because the last signal sent is from this torch so this line is not even used so I compacted the thing and again I have a 12 by 10 by 8 uh, design it's exactly the same uh, size as the other but this one as I said is really more clean and expandable so I've cut the line after the the, the signal is sent through this line so there's nothing there's no torch on this line needing to send a signal so I just cut the line here and uh, on this one I have the repeater tweaked to the tick uh, the perfect tick so everything is really really fast and is, as you see on this line since the signal is going from here to there um, I have this piston that needs to be activated first and after that I have this piston so I've put the two torch on the same line with the repeater between so I save a, I save the line but I have to compensate for the fact that there's a repeater here and here uh, is that it Yeah, anyway, so uh, I needed to do put a re an extra repeater here so the delay, uh, this one would activate uh, in the right time. And underneath I have the close sequence, which is just that. And I've cut the line where I don't need them. And let me just show you what a perfect timing with this. In the glass floor you'll see everything is perfect. that's pretty efficient and like I said this design is really expandable so you could have really more complex piston thingamajig and really like wire it quite simply with in this fashion so uh, if you want me I can do a tutorial uh, just tell me on which model you want this one or this one and I'll build it with you if you want and I suggest you to make me do this one because I as I said the design is really expandable and more elegant and easy to understand so and it's since it's the same size there's no really there's no way to bother with this design this one is the next best thing so all right, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Please uh, rate, comment. I want some feedback on this. And see you next time. Bye.